In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to insert and edit videos in Windows Live Movie Maker. This is for Windows 7. Okay, if you haven't seen my my video on how to insert and edit pictures, then click on the link and go to it. It might help you out with this video. Okay, just like in the photos video, click on either here or here to insert a video or a photo. Okay, so once you have it open, you just open up what you want as to insert as your video. So I'm gonna choose sample videos and choose wildlife. Okay, now that that's in, there's different things that you can do. Just like in pictures, you can change the duration and the speed um, or the speed, not the duration. You can add a caption, and there are different animations and video visual effects that you can add. Alright, so first, change the speed. This is controlling how it is, how fast it is going. So, if you want it slow mo, you click on this and you go here to where it says speed. And if you want it slow mo, it needs to be less than 1x. So I'm just going to choose this and it will be slow mo. And as you can see, normal speed is a lot faster. If you want it fast forwarded or faster, click on 2x or anything higher than um, 1x. You can also put it as 1.5x or whatever you want. You can insert whatever uh, amount you want it to be and it will go that fast so another thing that you can do to your video is you can split it at different parts of the video say I want the horses in but I don't want this whatever that is koala maybe and I just want all the way to the birds so I go to where I want to stop. You can control the frames by clicking on this right here. So I go to where I want to stop. It's like two frames back. Right here. Because this reaches a new segment that I don't want. And then I click up here where it says split. And then it cuts off that part of the video. And it leaves this part. So this has all the stuff that I wanted. Right here it stops at the birds so if I delete this because I don't want it it leaves this which is what I wanted okay so another thing that you can do is you can add visual effects so click on this visual set effects tab and click on and you can it'll come up with this and you can scroll over it and it'll show different animations or effects so you can also click here and it has more and if you so just scroll over what you want and if you find one that you want uh, I think I'm interested in this one right here yeah I like that one then it'll add the effect to it just like that okay so if you want more than one effect acting on it, you click multiple multiple effects right here. And then you find which one you want after you have after you here I'll show you again. You find which one you want and once you're over it, it'll show what it's called. And once you find what you want, then you can um, remember the name of it and just add multiple effects and say I want blur and threshold and those are what I have here I click apply and it applies both of them just like that it's kind of a mixture between the two um, and then so um yeah one more thing that you can do is I'm gonna I'm gonna get off of the effects I don't want any right now another thing you can do is go to animations and it'll insert the film or insert the video 
with whatever you want. Now, this also goes along like what it was with my photos video. Say you want it here, say you want it somewhere, you can press split like I told you before, and if you want a transition between the two videos, you simply go to what you want to transition to, click on animations, and choose what you want. So I want this triangle. And so I'll just do this and watch it. Watch the transition. It'll show a triangle here. Let me do something because that's not really what you would want. You would let me remove that. You would want it to stop right at the new the new part. So I'm gonna do it between horses and birds. I'm gonna go back a couple frames until it is where it switches. Okay. And I'm going to go to video tools and split. So when I click so that separated two parts that are completely different. Okay. So I click on what I want to transition to and this shows a whole bunch of transitions and I like this one. So I'm going to use that. So let's watch it. Transition. And there you go. You can also add a caption. Click on the caption that you click on the caption button right here. Whoops, right here. Click on it. And then it'll come up with this box right here. And um, you can move it around wherever you want. And you highlight it and insert whatever text you want. I'm going to put horses. Oops. And so it'll show up there. Now, what else you can do is you can change all these things about it. You can change the transparency. You can change the color. You can change the font. You can change the font size. And you can also add bold and italics. So... I'm going to show you the color because this is probably what I use the most. White is kind of good on this background, but for some of your backgrounds, it um, it won't be good. So you want to change the color to whatever fits what your background is. Whatever would look good there. Black looks pretty good here. And purple, I guess. So that's how you change the color. You can also change the, you can add, add bold and italics. I'm going to take that off. And you can change the font size. I'm going to change mine to 48. And move it up here. Now this will happen. And. Oops. Hold on. You All you do for that is. You. This might happen. Okay. And you just move it. Move it out so it will fit. Sometimes that won't work. And you'll have to backspace. Which. Um, which means you spread it out until you can. Or until like this and it won't go up that's when you press backspace here and it'll go up on the line okay so you can also add bold italics and you can change your font to whatever you want whatever you want it to be so I'm just gonna click on a, a random one ruin and the font the type of font you use might might mess it up, but might, might uh, not agree. So then you do what I said, it might change the font. And then it, there it is. So you can also change the transparency by clicking on transparency and making it up or down. When you go up, it'll be clearer. When you go down, it'll be thicker and easier to see. Um, you can also change the text duration to go on for longer, and another thing is you can move the text wherever you want it to be. I'm going to change the text duration of 5 seconds, so it will cover a longer time. Again, check out my photos video. The photos in the videos are a lot alike, so um, you that might help you out more. Um, so, first one more thing. The text tools, there are more effects with the text. 
um, where the text can insert or in come in a certain way. So you just go over here and you uh, go over it and it'll show you different ones. So I'm going to just click, go over this one. How about I like this one. I'm going to click on it and it'll use it like that. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.